everyone! Welcome back to the Game She Missed series on my channel. I am Lady Lilia, and we are playing Blade Runner! An awesome point-and-click adventure that has a little bit more to it than your standard old point-and-click. And I'm really enjoying it so far. So let's continue. Last time, we started solving a mystery of what happened uh, to the murdered animals. In Ra uh, I forgot his name again. Rustner, Rasseter. Uh, hang on, hang on. I'll get it in a second. Roof. Our car is parked on the roof because you know. Uh, Runsitter, Runsitter's a place where he sold rare animals, which we now know thanks to uh, our clues that half of the animals he was selling were indeed fakes, not real animals. So. We're going to go confront him about that and see if anything comes of it. I am very excited because I don't like him very much. I don't like him at all. Back. It looks like the crime scene is cleared. We also learned that the car they were driving was a 1995 Pontiac. So that's interesting. They gotta be a pretty unique set of individuals. Also, they had access to very unique, expensive firearms. Military grade firearms. Mm, he's not here, of course. <clears throat> that is unfortunate. Uh, can I go anywhere else now that he's not here? Because if I can't, then that's gonna be a bit of a d dilly. A bit of a dilly? I don't know what that means, but it's definitely going to be that. Is there nothing else here that I can... I guess... I guess not. I probably missed at least one thing in here, although I did have a lot of clues, so... I don't know. There are some other places we can go exploring at, so maybe we should do that. Nothing even remotely interesting, but hell. Alright. In your car, then. Let's go to the other places if we're done here. <clears throat> um, there is the Chinatown area, and then my apartment. Chinatown area it is, I guess. We may be able to find the girl Real here. Real sushi was a luxury reserved only for the elite, since most sea life had become radioactive after the Third Terran War. The rest of us had to eat new sushi, soya mixed with off-world lichen. That sounds disgusting. McCoy, LPD. I want to ask you a couple of questions. Sorry, my man. I just don't got the time. You can't just say no. Hey, big guy. Busy. No time for talk. <sighs> McCoy, Itazura Suruna. You want something, you talk to me. Sorry, uh, Howie. Got to mix more out back. Beautiful night, isn't it? When business driving, night always beautiful. What's real fresh tonight? Special shipment of Toro just arrived. I fix you right up, no one else. Clean as a whistle. You're Prince, Howie. Uh, yummy. How long has that chef worked for you? Zubin? Just a month. Superior chef. Makes all kinds of new suits. Hmm. One month, eh? That's the same amount of time that the girl has worked for uh, Rensiner. This from your place, isn't it? Could be. Chopped it come from Yoshi's restaurant supply. Yoshi's restaurant supply. See you later, Howie. Okay, so I don't actually need to select clue, uh, select items and like show them to people. The game kind of does all that for me, which I appreciate. We have so much stuff. Big caliber, possibly off-world combat weaponry. Bel Most of them were shot point blank, but we're looking at some others. <laughs> Sloppy cuts with a knife. What? Okay. McCoy, LPD.
See you later, Howie. Thanks for the deliciousness. Guess I'll go this way. Oh, I just oh, I just went on in, okay. <clears throat> Howie says you're a master chef. You not come back here. Air bad. This will only take a minute. I'm looking for a girl, about 14 years old, with pink hair. You seen her? I don't know her. Whoa! Okay. I was not expecting that to happen. Okay. My suspicions were definitely correct, then. That is not the same person. Let's not just shoot him randomly. Hey. A big guy run past here? Hey, maybe spare some ginion? Yeah, yeah. Thanks. The big man, he kind of limping. Oh. That away. Limping? One of the dudes at the crime scene is limping. Hey, Pop. This is valuable evidence. License plate. Ooh. Nothing even remotely interesting. I wonder if we can tell. I was going to root through trash. My expectations weren't too high. I wonder if we could tell if it was from the car. Oh, there's rain. You can hear the rain on the roof. I love that. I love when games do that. Totally uninteresting. Really? Okay. What about this rain barrel? Yuck. Yuck. Totally uninteresting. All right, well then why can I click on it? Where would he have gone? I guess the only way is up here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Uh, anything else around? Clue-wise, not really. Locked. Locked? Shoot it? Locked. Well, fudgeroni and cheese. Maybe we should go back to the kitchen and see if there's any clues in there about the guy, because he just literally threw his soup at me and ran out, you know? Um... I got the license plate, though. That was worth it. I, he could have trashed it, I guess. Uh, oh, I didn't go this way, though. But no, he would have... That, oh, that guy said that he was limping and everything, so... Oh, I can get there this way. Nice. Okay. So, let's investigate in here a little bit. Poor restaurant owner guy's gonna have some bad news in a second. We gotta find that girl and question her. Uh, bad news, friend. See you later, Howie. Oh. See you later, Howie. You're not gonna tell him? What? Why? Ray McCoy, Rep D Tech. Why aren't you gonna tell him? Well, I suppose we'll go back to the police station then and give them the plate. Too bad I didn't snap a picture of that guy. Uh, Lock up. <laughs> That's not the one I wanted. Two? Is it two? Nope. Uh, yes, that's the one I want. Uploading personal clue database. 
Downloading mainframe Clue database. Clue database transfer complete. Anything new in here? No. Okay. Um. Runsetter crime scene. So, the guy with the limp would be this guy in the back, right? Did the guy at the restaurant match that description? He was bald, wasn't he? I think he was. Hmm, okay. Let's go talk to the crime lab. See, what, see if they analyze the plate or whatever. Anything else? Zip man, try me later. No? Okay. We don't have to, uh, do anything with that, do we? Probably not, but... I uploaded it anyways. Lucy... Factory bombing. Describe them to me again. Just the Rastafarian fellow. And that, that friend of his, a slim blonde man, Asian, with, with a ponytail? Can I see my attorney? Bravo, Spencer. You've done your civic duty for the day. Oh, I get her clues as well. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's cool. So she's got a suspect from factory bombing. Describe them to me again. Just the Rastafarian fellow. And that, that friend of his... A slim blonde man, Asian, with with a ponytail? Can I see my attorney? Bravo, Spencer. You've done your civic duty for the day. A thin blonde man who's Asian? Huh. Zubin. How long has that chef worked for you? Zubin? Just month. Superior chef. Makes all kinds of new suits. Zubin. We have a name. His name's Zubin. Right. This woman says she saw that kid who worked for Runsetter hanging around with a big fat guy last week. Okay, so that does apply to him. Most of them were shot point blank, but we're looking at some others. <laughs> Sloppy cuts with a knife, like the perp was really pissed off at something. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other... About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. Hmm. Apparently that's... for her? She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone, and he's a very reputable wholesaler. Okay. Right. So... Some good information so far. We we do we do. <clears throat> Don't know where to go now though. I guess we go back to our apartment, right? It's really all we all the only place left. So I hope I didn't let that guy get away on accident. I have a feeling I just needed to get the license plate, but. I really wouldn't be surprised if there was a way for us to catch him. We have not been to our apartment yet, so this will be interesting. Let's see where McCoy lives. Interesting parking spaces. Oh, oh, dude. Oh, it is, a, it, it is him. Dude. 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 He freaking.
freaking, he freaking, he, he came in to hunt me down at my apartment. What the, what the fudge? And, and I can die. I can actually get dead, get dead in combat. Well, that's good to know. Let's try that again, see if we can win this time. Plop a save here. Take our gun out. <laughs> Is he coming? Oh, there he comes. Die! Whoa! He has got to be a robot. There is no way he's not. How many shots did that did he take? Uh, there's an old man with a cane walking towards me, and I'm just gonna stand here awkwardly as he wanders over. Rumor has it you've been earning your stripes, McCoy. Uh, hello, strange man on the roof. Working on it. Keep it up. You just might have a future in this business. I understand it's got a hell of a retirement plan. You VK the mark before retirement? Didn't have to. That's why they call it the magic. I'm starting to understand. You ever retire a human, your career is over. Remember that. I checked with UN Air. Looks your rep swung that Moonbus massacre last month. They ever find the moon bus? Disappeared into thin air. Brian thinks it crashed out in the Kipple. How many reps are we talking about? Enough. They're Nexus Sixes. So don't take too much slack. Gotcha. Who are you? Who the hell are you? Why are you on my roof? Can I loot this guy's corpse? Yuck. Yuck. What do you mean, yuck? Isn't he a replicant? There's no way he's not a replicant. Alright, whatever. I'll just go home then. Your just floor number. Leave him there? Uh. Apartments. McCoy, 88F. 88. Thank you. I lived with the best gal I'd ever seen. She was two now and full of life and love. She'd cost me about a year's salary, but she was worth it. It was good to have someone warm nearby after completing a dirty job. And the retirement swag from this case would go toward getting her a partner. Hey, doggy. Maggie, come here, girl. Aww. All right. Bye then, Maggie. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. One treat for dinner? Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Okay. I see how this works. <laughs> what else can we do in our humble abode? Maggie, come here, girl. That's your only interaction, huh? Okay, then. Ooh. Zubin was the first Nexus 6 I'd come up against. There was something in his eyes, an almost primordial desire to live. Most of the 3s, 4s, and 5s I'd seen would just give up when you had them. But these 6s, they were a whole other breed. Mm-hmm. More human. Portrait of the Sleep Deprived. Got your delivery here, man. Uh, what? Kingston Kitchen. Oh, yes, right. 
Hold on. Is this what the gravity be like on Mars? Oh no. It's about a third of what we got here on Terra. Real comfy. How about turning that dial, okay? When I say... Please, can you control your rat? I'll have you know that Ricky's a purebred chihuahua, and he's totally real. Things going good at Tyrell Corporation? Boring, boring. Old man Tyrell's been on a Wagner kick lately. He never shuts up. You also do outside work? Sweetie, I never go outside. It's bad for the glands. How about Nexus 6? You know a lot about them? I think you should be going now. <laughs> Understand the good if it holds deep meaning for me now. Web your research on Nexus 6. I need test studies, contacts, the works. Only civic leader. Extra terrestrial gravity. For one more minute, you be swallowing this explosive. Three more minutes? They be hosing you off the true life building across town. No, I swear. I don't have anything. If I did it, I'd give it to you. My people sick and dying. You tell me something. Talk to Dr. Tyrell. Tell me something I don't know. The organ designers, uh, Maraji, Hannibal Chu, Luther and Lance, they're closer to him than I am. Where? DNA Row. They're all working down on DNA Row. You one miserable package man. No! No, please, don't! Huh. Pick up. Hope you aren't camped out there with a bottle of tequila. Oh, very funny. Early bird slays the worm, McCoy. Don't worry, I'm up, Lieutenant. What's the buzz? One of Tyrell's employees got his fat face splattered all over the marble interior of the Tyrell building. Inside? That's right. But we also got a sweet little break at it. Tyrell's surveillance system recorded the whole shebang. Beautiful. How many perps? Just one. I don't know if it's related to the run center deal or not. Tyrell security will have the disc for you when you get there. You'll be good, killer. Mike. Goodness! So it's it's interesting that we get to see all the crimes. We get to see everything that happened, so we know. We know. No messages. I'm in demand. Uh-huh. Violent street crime in the city rose again last year by a whopping 26%, according to the latest figures from the Department of Justice. Governor Kolvig attributed the change to the dramatic increase in the number of specials registered as city residents and promised a tough new set of standards for the City Immigration Bureau by next month. Uh, okay, is that just my bathroom? A new day. Better feed my dog. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Is she a real dog? Your floor number, please. Apartments. Ooh. This is not what I wanted to do, but I guess I could explore. Whoa. Oh, and there's the police station. So I can walk here, too. Interesting. I don't really want where I want to be, though. I don't think. That's neato. Burrito. But really, we need to go to the roof. Get our car again. Your floor number, please. Well, 
Looks like someone cleaned up his body. McCoy, LPD. Uh, just a minute. Where do I go? Grab test on the east wing, 66th floor. Uh, here's the footage from the security cameras. You get a pretty good look at the man's face. How'd he get past you guys? He pretended to be a delivery man. Dr. Eisendooler ordered in a lot, so it didn't seem unusual. Uh -huh. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir. Someone had tried to access a bunch of protected files on the Tyrell network and failed. Not just once, but a dozen times. Tyrell engineers might forget their passwords, but what would the GravLab boys need with replicant DNA sequences and incept dates? I don't know. It was a Tyrell sales brochure for the Nexus series, the kind of glossy hype that ends up littering the floor at trade shows. This one was for last year's infamous Lolita model, a big hit with the all-important dirty old man market. Ew. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me, like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. Probably is. Is that it? Let's go in. Jesus. Oh, at least they censored it with pixels. <laughs> I've seen worse, but not by much. Learn anything? You could strain him through a sieve. Well, let's start gathering crap. Also, who are you? This hearing yours? Maybe it belongs to that other cop who was up here. The babe with the shades and the cigarettes. Ooh. Ain't her style. Call her babe to her face, you're liable to end up with a severe limp. I'd seen more dead animals than live ones in the last 24 hours, and now it was dogs. Three of them. I thought about Maggie and Ooh, nearly threw those up. those are his doggies! Aww. I'd seen more dead animals than live ones in the last 24, and now it was dog. I thought about Maggie and... No, nobody's gonna kill Maggie. They're probably not real. We'll just think about that. Uh, okay. Obviously, he'd been killed with an explosive, and not just because he'd been plastered on the wall with a thousand strokes. The detonator wire I pulled out of his skull told the whole story, but I wondered... Why the killer didn't just shoot him? Yeah, why? Send a message? Kind of... what kind of... why, though? Disgusting. Disgusting. So he shot the camera, and then he blew him up anyway. That's weird. That's very strange. Anything else that I'm missing? You spot anything you think I ought to know about, tell me. Absolutely. You spot anything you think I ought to know about, tell me. Absolutely. I don't think any of this other crap we can actually click on. Oh, that. A takeout box from Kingston Kitchens. Kingston Kitchens. Okay, that's a lead. And three dead chihuahuas. And that seems to be about it. So, Kingston Kitchens, um, and then that other detective lady probably had some more info that she got. So I guess we just go, oh! Lagging behind again? Ah. Guza didn't say anything about me working with a partner. 
<laughs> in a pig's ass, Slim. No, I'm following up on my own. Could be it's linked to this Tyrell debacle. You take a look at this crime scene? Yeah, it's a real doozy, Slim. Worse than watching Guza eat. Make sure you skip a meal before you go up. I already saw it. Let's see if we can talk to this dude some more. You know if anyone lost an earring like this one lately? Not one of the employees, that's for sure. The boss enforces a strict dress code around here. How did Eisendoller's moo moo fit in? <laughs> hey, you know, company rules only apply to the lesser mortals. Ah. You know anything about Tyrell's computer system? Security is tight as a drum, if that's what you're asking. Somebody tried to access restricted data from the terminal in Dr. Eisendoller's office. But they couldn't get in. Yeah. Looks like Dr. Tyrell keeps his files safer than he keeps his employees. How do I get in to see the big boss? You don't, unless he wants to see you. Okay. How do I make him want to see me? Well, you could call his personal assistant. Who is? Don't know, offhand. Yeah, I get the picture. You friendly with Eisendeller? Most of the employees they see coming in morning and night, but old Marcus, I mean, uh, Dr. Eisendeller, he almost never left his lab. He afraid of somebody? I think it had something to do with the air outside and the germs. I once heard him complain about it. Smart. What was his job? Grav test chief engineer. The lab runs tests to see how a replicant would perform in different planetary gravitational fields. That kind of thing. One of the other engineers could tell you more. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's all very intriguing. We have some more data to go back to the police station with. But that is the end of episode two of Blade Runner, everybody. Thanks for joining me once again for this awesome game. I'm really, really enjoying it so far. I hope you guys are too. Let me know in the comments below what you think of it so far. <sighs> I'm excited to be back, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thanks for the adventure. I'll see you on the other side.